Good morning to everyone. So, I am the chocolate and God is the thunder. Because of that, I'll never go under. I am so honored to be able to say this. Donda West, who is Kanye West's mother, may she rest in peace, she was the greatest of all times. She raised a genius, a philanthropist, a billionaire. She raised a very phenomenal creative mind. And his name is Kanye West. What I love about Miss Donda West is at three years old, yes, she had to raise Kanye by herself, but she did a phenomenal job. She made sure that Kanye was in, excuse me, she made sure Kanye had powerful, positive role models in his life. That is very important when you have a boy child. You're a single mom and you're raising a boy by yourself. That boy must be around positive role models. Keeping that boy in the house, not allowing him out to play with his friends because you think things are too dangerous is wrong. I did that and I was wrong. I was absolutely wrong on all levels. What I also wanted to say that I love about Miss Donda West is she had no excuses. She had no excuses whatsoever. Nothing stood in the way of her putting her all, her all, her all into her son Kanye West. She was, Miss Donda was an educator, I believe since the 1970s, up until about 2004 when she took over and became um, Kanye's manager and managed his career. And if I'm wrong for that, forgive me. But since the 1970s, she was a teacher, a very intelligent woman. She was an intelligent woman. I know she was a reader. She was definitely a reader and was a woman who did not allow any type of circumstances to stop her from being great. And that's why her son was great. That's why her son is great. She was great and her son is great. Absolutely on all levels. Yes, Kanye is the G-O-A-T. But he wouldn't be the G-O-A-T if it wasn't for his mother, Miss Donda West. It started with her. I can see why he has such wonderful songs dedicated to his mom, even before this 10th album. I could see why him and his mother had such a close, wonderful relationship. Listen to me. Take it from a, a single mom. I became a single mom at 24. Now I got pregnant at 24, became a single mom at 25. Then I had my daughter at uh, 26. Take it from me, somebody who I didn't do it right. See, I raised my children in survival mode. And when I say survival mode, it, that mentality came from, I'm raising these kids by myself, so I got to do what I got to do. That was my mindset. And that mindset was wrong. Because that mindset, it, you know, instead of me really, like, um, poor, like, just doing things with my children, as far as, you know, putting them in activities and all of that stuff, my mind wasn't even thinking like that. mm so I say that and I want to encourage you all who have, who if you are a single mom, if you do not have such a great support system, I don't care. Put your children in what they want to be in. If them children tell you, mom, I want to play soccer, put them kids in soccer. If them children tell you that they want to sing, put them in singing classes. Don't hold your children back. Do not hold your children back. I did not realize how much I held my children back by being um, Miss, I'm protecting my kids. I'm protecting my kids. No, that was the wrong mentality. My intentions may have been right, but that was the wrong mentality. No, 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 that's not how to do it. That's not how to do it. Pour your oil into your children. I am telling you, that's what Miss Donda West did. She poured her oil into Kanye and son. Pour your oil into your children. 
Don't raise your children in survival mode. Raise them in striving mode. Raise them in striving mode. Raise them to be great. Nothing less than great. Raise them to be great. How does the word say? Train up a child in the way it should go. And when that child get older, it will not depart. When we say that scripture, we only, we only, for the most part, talk about when it comes to children being respect, respectful, etc. But that applies on all levels of a child's life. The way we raise our children, that's how they're going to be for the most part when they get older. They're not going to depart from the way we raise them. Think about that. Raise them great. Raise them great. This is not about any regrets. Or anything like that. No, this is a woman who is wide awoke and she accepts accountability. That's what, that's what my vulnerability is about. Have your boys and have them around positive role models, positive male role models, find a YMCA something. Have them boys around positive role models. It's important because they, if there's no man around, they need to see a male, a positive male needs to interact with that boy child. Because you as a woman, you can't teach, you can't teach your son how to be a man. Can't teach him how to be a man. And you see, Miss Donda West, she, 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 she got it. And she had him around some very positive role models. Kanye went all to all these different places and everything. That's why he has, he has such a great love for his mother. She made it that way. She did. And I know she's no longer on the earth, but I'm going to tell you something. She'll always be in Kanye West's heart. Oh, absolutely. Oh, absolutely. I know he hears her, her beautiful voice at times whisper into his heart when he's in prayer sometimes I know he hear some of the wonderful teachings that his mother taught him who y'all think taught Kanye West about Jesus his mother his mother Miss Donda West was a Christian woman she taught him about Jesus and I bet you I bet you I could put my life on it I bet you she said Kanye if mama ain't here and you can't call me you better call Jesus you see, she planted wonderful seeds in him. And I wish that I could have gleaned from her when my children were young. I wish I could have gleaned from her, just sat at her feet and gleaned from her. Well, I tell you what, we know Kanye's 10th album is, is coming forth and it's dedicated to his mother. The name of the album is, I believe it's uh, Donda, D-O-N-D-A. And I know it's going to be beautiful. It's going to be phenomenal. Raise your children to be great. I don't care. Don't you let nobody stop you from raising your children to be great. Don't have this mentality. I got to do what I got to do. I got to do what I got to do. I got to do what I got to do. Don't have that mentality. Have a mentality that, you know what? I'm going to pull my all into my children. So that they can be great. Have that mentality. That's the mentality to have. Develop that mentality before you even think about having children. Develop that mentality. Because that's a powerful mentality to have. That's a no excuse, no nonsense mentality. Excuses are useless. Excuses are useless. And I want to share something with y'all. Let me have a vulnerable moment with y'all. My son, when he got older, he was able to. My son said, Mom. You raised me to get a good education, and it was all about school, Mom. He said, but Mommy, I thought I was going to be in soccer one day. He did. He said it to me. He said, and Mom, he said, when I realized it wasn't going to happen, I just said, forget about it. I was wrong. I was wrong, and that thing pierced my heart. It pierced my heart, and it did. When your children tell you things like that, that they want to be in things, and you make a way. Baby, make a way. Make a way. 
Don't you have no excuses talking about, oh, I don't know this and make a way. If you got to sell some good Kool-Aid, you make a way, okay? As long as you ain't hurting nobody, you ain't stealing nobody to get the money, you make a way. And you ain't hurting yourself or disrespecting yourself, you make a way. You make a way because excuses are useless. All right, y'all, I don't want to ramble. That's all I needed to say. Can't wait till this album does come out. That number 10 is so beautiful. That number 10 is a number of happiness. That's a number of joy. That's a number of, of change. 10 is a number of change. 10 is a number of change. Beautiful number. All right, y'all. Be blessed.